Warder needs advanced stability is nice. Counselor, yes. Got three new projects. Laying the foundation. Cost of buildings with a stability bonus is reduced by 10%. Whatever. Warden's Endeavors is increasing his thing. And this is also increasing his thing. Really? Wow, it can go to level 5. I didn't think it would go to level 5. Okay, what kind of events do we have? Harem. Yeah. That's, that's what sucks, is if I wanted to do this, then, then uh, I would have to cancel the other one. But this is an opportunity. I don't need this. Because it's going to go away on, on itself in seven days. Whatever. Problem, problem. Problem. We get three problems. This is for Landa. This is for Rigonga. And this is for Jubilost. Okay. All three of them take 14 days. Still 50 days there. Economy. We could do his thing, but I don't. That's not like a important thing to me. 10% of a discount. So do we want to improve? Let's see. We could go Tristian's help. We could improve this. Or we could do this. I don't think we need the loyalty right now. Especially since we're not going to be getting bonus build points because my economy is not high enough. So I want either stability or culture. Any, mini, mini, mo. What's this? Relations. We're going to go for stability, I think. Got seven seven events here. I guess why not? Hopefully they don't. Uh... Actually, no. It's seven events, but it already uh, counts the uh, the three finished ones. This failed. Yes, that's fine. This was a triumph. Happy birthday to me! Nice. The celebrations were spectacular. Everyone participated in the revelries and the peasants, from the peasants to the barons and Torridge. Greedy tax collector. Oh, that lowers loyalty. It increases economy quite a bit. And it gave me some. I'm gonna try to save scum the tax collector, see what it does. Justice of the crowds. Another one here. This was a triumph. Treasure wants to talk to me. Amiri wants to talk. Oh. Amiri wants to talk? What about? But no, we want to try this again. Probably her. Uh, Probably her companion quest. Triumph. Okay, so we still lose the same amount of loyalty. We're still gaining the same amount of build points, but we get more economy, which is nice. And now... Economy doesn't unlock anything by itself, but we can we can actually click it to upgrade it. Sucks that we lost loyalty, but that's okay. 
After finding out that he was about to be executed, the felon told the treasurer where he'd hidden the money. A few days later, the advisor announced that the tax collector was to be pardoned and returned to service in recognition of his ingenuity. Taxes would also be doubled, as the crafters had proven able to pay it. Oh. That's probably because Jubal lost to this, and that's why he did it in a way that lost me loyalty but got me more economy. Too bad we lost our cane, that really sucks. Waking, waiting until the victim was burned at the stake, the regent planted evidence against her and introduced strict laws against independent wizardry. Peace was restored to the region. Well, nice that we get, got some stability. Sucks that we lost some arcane. This is still a triumph. That's fine. This was probably... Yeah. He wants to talk to me. Amira wants to talk to me. Okay, okay. We could claim one of these regions if we really need to. Okay, Jubilost, what you talking about? I've brought a petitioner with me. Leymar Tinch, a famous expert on everything regarding alcohol and beverages which feature it. Our impatient guest wanted very much to speak with you in person and tell you about his um mm -hmm, project. Oh, oh, do you, oh, am I going to be making turnip alcohol? A halfling before you looks young, but his sharp eyes, framed by slight wrinkles, gives away the petitioner's considerable age. Leymar nods politely, sweeping the floor with his beret and showing off an emerging bold spot. My respects, Baron. I beg your forgiveness for how boldly I sought your meeting. Or I could hardly trust anyone with the fate of my beloved new child, which appeared to me in a waking dream, as I walked your lands. You see, I was travelling through on my way to Bravoy, when to my surprise I discovered a most curious, curious detail. It turns out that many spicy and bitter herbs, which I and my colleagues use in our work, grow wild in these lands. Wineberry, go to eat. Gentian. He bends his fingers, enumerating the plants, then waves his hands. Ah, these names probably tell you nothing, but to me, oh, for me, this is a rich list. For me, this rich list is like a splendid palette. A foundation upon which a true masterpiece might be built. Your Grace, I once imagined settling in Bravoy, but your lands have truly inspired me. And now my greatest dream is to open a shop in this very capital, with a bouquet... You can easily gather nearby. I can easily create a new beverage. True ambrosia for any halfling. Only one thing is holding me back. Lack of financial resources. I hope that now, upon hearing my request, you and your respected treasurer will not refuse a humble artisan a little assistance. Of course, in exchange for a future percentage. Leymar bows deeply once again. I shall eagerly await your decision. I mean, it may make sense. What you thinking? You want to hear my opinion? This business will fail. Halfling alcohol is like fruit juice for other races. It's nothing like your dwarvish stout. You want to take a risk and put your money on halfling drunkards? Well, it's your barony and your business. But remember, if you give this trader the money he asks for, then tomorrow there will be ten more at your gate just like him. Yeah, you know what? I think that's fine. A little bit of relation. 200, 100 build points. Halfling Brewery for free. I wish... I wish if I clicked right here. And I could click on the Halfling Brewery. To see what it actually does. Because maybe it's pretty good. Yeah, tell him the answer is no. He silently nods and responds. Okay, Amiri, what do you want to talk about? She looks unusually grim today. Listen, we need to talk, but not in front of anyone. Everyone, after the council ends, come to the tavern. It's about my tribe, my old one from before. Okay. 
Pariah. It would make sense to get economy, because that would give me two build points. One from loyalty, one from economy. No events, though. That kind of sucks. I mean, we could spend some points here. Could spend some points here. Four build points per week. Four build points per week. So that would be like 125 weeks to do this. Is it worth it? It's like 10% chance of some BP in a month. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. The same here, like... 125 weeks, that's like two years. For this to pay back for itself. I don't think like this is worth it. This one though, depending on my amount uh, of my number of towns, it may be very much worth it. It may be useless. Honestly, this one is seems like the most useful to give him more points when he deals with problems, and he can do it himself. Wait, what? Now, do we want to increase Labeda's skill, or do we want to increase Jubilos' skill? Or, or does, or is it just like he does it for him? You know what? This is fine. We can start this project. I think it's only available for Lebeda because he's not a companion. So he is kind of limited. We are kind of limited in what we can do with, uh, with him. Wait a second, don't I have a... Yeah, I have a full set of these. I have a full set of these, I forgot about them. Okay, Amiri, what's up? You wanna talk? A lot of people in the tavern. The barbarian sips the beer from her mug with a grim look. She hesitates, as if she doesn't know where to begin. Once, I told you about my tribe, remember? The six bears? Yeah, I remember. Me, I'd be far happy to forget, but they were spotted on your lands. Our scouts told me they saw the camp near the Miria border. So, uh, what, what are they doing here? You're asking me? I am. I don't have no idea. That's a double negative. You have an idea. I really hoped I'll never see these ugly faces again. I walked across the Miria to be as far from them as I could, and now they follow me. What the hell? So, let's visit my old tribe. Find out what they, uh, what do they want so far from their snow. And then we can keep them, kick them back. She finishing her beer in one go, then belches and stumbles towards the tavern maid to order another. There's no events to do. 
no projects we can start the uh with it i think this training is fine because he by himself has a, a plus three hopefully that gives him like a plus two bonus maybe Okbo. Oh yeah, 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 I was supposed to talk to you, Storyteller. I remember. Uh, I got some relics? Tell me about the gemstone cave. Yeah, 10,000 gold is nice, and 1,500 experience is also nice. I hear hooves clattering, wheels creaking, I smell the smoke of campfires, Wind kisses my face gently, and the rain washes it with tears from the sky. We are on the road, heading north. We are on our way to the no man's land beyond the edge of a map, which promises a home to those who do not shy away from adventure. Those lands are where we find our freedom and prosperity. I'm Jessine Trestrin, from the Tandak Plains, the heart of a great Talden Empire. My family is old, but not rich. My inheritance, as the youngest daughter, barely covers the horses, cart, and supplies for the strip. But who cares? My real inheritance was a sharp mind and strong hands ready for hard work. My children will know riches that my ancestors could hardly dream of. A thousand years ago, on the Emperor's orders, the Fifth Army of Exploration mapped the region around the, uh, the Great Salen River. Endless miles of plains, hills, woods, and swamps. My ancestor served in this army, and his diary mentions a particular cave filled with wonderful gemstones. Floor to ceiling, the army turned back, leaving the gems unclaimed for centuries. But now, they'll be mine. Onward! Okay, why did the army leave the gems untouched? It's a real mystery. My ancestors spared no words describing the beauty and riches of the cave. I even described how to find it, but he didn't explain why the army had left such treasure behind. Maybe that part of the diary was lost? Well, even more interesting then. Maybe we'll get to shed some light on this ancient mystery. What will he do when you find the mine? Isn't it obvious? I'll claim the land where the cave is located as my own property, and the part of the Talden Empire. Then, if anyone tries to take it from me, they'll have to deal with not just me, but the Imperial Army as well. Why do you think the army, the gems are still there a thousand years, la a thousand years later? Of course, so much time has passed. A lot could have changed, but there are still no big cities in this, these wild lands to this day. If someone were mining gemstones there, I think we'd, we'd have heard about it by now. Okay. We reached the area described in my ancestor's diary. The locals from the tiny villages scattered in the area call this region the Camelands. It's a strange, eerie place, where we originally took for hills. What we originally took for hills, as we passed through, turned out to be ancient mounds, where you might find the buried bones of unbelievably ancient creatures, older even than Earthfall. That gemstone cave must be around here somewhere. After a long and difficult search, fortune finally smiled upon us, albeit a wry, cunning smile. Among the hills we caught a bunch of kobolds, all dressed up like nobles at some celebration. Their filthy, scaly bodies were decorated with shining gemstones, and their leader proudly wore an ancient Talden knee pad on his head. Their interrogation didn't take long. After decapitating one of them, the others almost fell over themselves to tell us where they found their ornaments. The cave provided to be even more gorgeous than I'd imagined. As I read my ancestor's diary, it was a huge hall, shining with gems but of all colours and hues. We didn't have any problem evicting the kobolds. Once we'd killed half the tribe, the other half just fled. Apparently, wanting the last word, an old kobold, the chieftain, maybe or a shaman, shook his tiny fist at us and yelled a curse. I just laughed and threw a torch at him. And he disappeared. I had won. The gem, the, the gems of the fifth army were mine. What did the kobold yell? He yelled 
that they would go, but that we would stay forever. What a curse. Oh no, I was already going to claim the lands anyway. Okay. Did you try exploring the mounds? We did. My best scout noticed an obviously artificial entrance into one of the mounds. He and a small team went in to explore it. Several hours later, a dense smoke rushed out of the mound. It began to rumble, and then it exploded. All that remained was a smoldering crater. We didn't risk fooling around with any ancient legacies after that. And later, we had enough of our own trouble to worry about. Go on. Inside, we found ancient girders supporting the walls and rusty tools scattered around. There were also graves, several of which had been opened by the kobolds, with pieces of ancient Talden armor in them. It seems some ancient people had been mining gems here after all. Unfortunately, we had no way to find out what happened to them, so I declared the mine my property, and we began our own work. A small town quickly grew up around the mine. First, it was just locals, then people started travelling from afar. Miners, bards, brewers, priests, and of course traders of all kinds. Taldor sent a squad of soldiers to guard the new imperial mine and trade routes as well. My lands prospered. Too bad it didn't last long. It, looked, it took us less than a year to discover what happened to the mine's previous owners and why it had been abandoned. Well, what did you do with the exhumed remains? We reburied them honorably. They became the first residents of our small new cemetery, which we had to expand considerably not long after. Okay, go on. Things were going great. But then, rumour of an epidemic started spreading throughout the town. I did my best to reassure the locals, though by that time I knew better than anyone that grey stains on the skin along with nosebleeds was essentially a death sentence. The mine's previous owners didn't just leave, they died out from ash leprosy. We were infected when we explored their graves. The best clerics and healers our money could buy all said the same thing. The disease wasn't curable. I still held hope that if I bought enough time, we could find a cure. But news of the epidemic reached the Imperial Army. They were ordered to quarantine the entire area, and our guardians became our jailers overnight. The settlement was sealed off by a triple cordon of guards. We continued mining gemstones like before, but the traders took advantage of our situation and raised their prices. They actually lowered their prices. They started buying the gems for less, or did they gouge prices on supplies? Probably that. People were dying, but the town lived on as the Empire kept sending a new workforce for us. Branded criminals. Thanks to the efforts of our healers, I lived longer than many others, but soon I didn't even dare leave my house. It seemed not a single person in the settlement didn't wish me dead. I died alone, slowly rotting alive, surrounded by treasure beyond measure, a leap leper queen of a doomed kingdom. My last thought was of how funny the cobbled's curse had seemed, and how quickly it had come through. Okay, tell me about this disease. Could it cause a new epidemic among my subjects? No. Mori uh, worry not, Ash Leprosy may have been incurable in Jaxine's time, but the Taldans eradicated it completely centuries ago. Besides, it is impossible that any trace remains of a lepro leprosarium that surrounded the mine so long ago. What happened to the city? The mine was inherited by her family. The colony of lepers continued mining gemstones for many years, until the mine was depleted. Once the mine was done, the town slowly died out. Once the last leper had died, the Empire sent a group of clerics and wizards to the site, and they used prayers and spells to reduce the infected town to safe ashes and collapse the entrance to the depleted mine. One and a half thousand years have passed since then. No one even remembers the colony existed there anymore. As for the mine, it can probably still be found in the Camelands, but there are no longer any treasures there to claim. Thanks for the story! Pariah.
We can put away these rings. Not really sure about this magical lantern. I don't think this is important anyway. Very good. We very good. Let me drink something, because I haven't drank anything in like three hours. Now, it kind of makes sense for me to claim, like, these regions here. We can actually claim all three of these regions. It makes sense for me to cl claim them, because then I'm going to be able to manage my kingdom from here. And I think that's kind of important. Yeah, hydrate. I I just com completely forget to drink. Uh, how much do we have time here? Like four months. Oh, it's a skeletal salesman again. I don't think he upgraded his, uh, his stuff at all. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Land in the wilderness. How we get that? A wolf from Silence Pack, huh? <sighs> There's no reason for you not to cast this. Murder! Uh, how strong are you? You're just level 5. Very nice. Downside of actually killing something with a crit is we can skin it because it explodes. Ooh, shining shells. I think this is the first time we've picked up something like that. Ah, I see you. What's this? Some wine? Nothing amazing, but we do want to go inside this cave here.
What happened to him? Enchantment. Next level, we also gonna get another another attack for our, for our more martially inclined characters. So Valerie, me, and uh, Amiri. Who will prevail? Does it matter? Silence warplanes. Don't see silence. <laughs> oh shoot! Um, Octavia, run away! Run away and to do a fireball. Didn't really have to do it, but eh, it's fine. We all succeed in all of these checks because Amiri just has to roll a one. Hmm. Silence I pack. I, well, I don't see. Uh... Oh, it's side plus one. Some wolf build. Split stones, a scroll of bane, a regular leather armor. Where's silence? Or do we kill silent? Because they ambush us from from behind, and I just didn't notice who's attacking me. No, oh, okay. Maybe we were supposed to like encounter some some wolf or someone, and uh, this was part of a quest. Do you want to go to the six bears camp? Actually, you're like claiming these resources is probably going to be useful. It's like you want to go to the tranquil river bend. That's curious. This guy just died here. A nun chuckle. A flaming nun chuckle. To the dust you will go. Now these dudes are level seven. Okay, he was he was charging but he got attacked with attacks of opportunity from all of us I am prepared to make my end and all you This isn't too big of an area all of his great clubs are masterwork, so I'm picking him up, which I feel like it kind of isn't worth it, because they're kind of heavy. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. 
did so much extra of synergy, but I don't think we hit. Go down. Are you fighting here or something? It's a prophet. It's a frog prophet. Eighty seven damage. That's pretty nice. Let's go in Sandra Cave. Burrow or whatever this is. This is for you. You have to retreat it a little bit. Attack here. This is masterwork. Now they're not worth a lot, but so uh, it is better than nothing. Monitor lizards. In due time. Uh huh. But is, does this actually do anything? We're good, we're good. Follow if you dare. Their life ends here. They go down. Oh, I should have actually gone and uh, gotten myself some fire resistance. You really got shaken. You did make two trips to the Goblin Fort to pick up all of the garbage on the ground. Lots of masterwork. Yeah, I, I'm picking up masterwork weapons, but I'm not gonna be picking up armors because they don't tend to be masterwork, and they are a lot heavier. I'm there. This will hurt. Does it? Kinda. At some point, you have to kind of make it work the same way. At least I, um, I think about it the same way I, I deal with stuff in Skyrim, where I only pick up stuff that's a lot better than, a, a lot more expensive than it is heavy, like ten times as expensive as it is heavy. Not gonna work the same way here, but. Uh, it's fine. Medicinal herb petals. Okay. Oh wait, did I not pick you up? I do what I must. Oh, uh, just a sec. Run! Retreat a little bit, because I actually do want to cast that protection from... Protection from fire. Stack that savage. Test of my abilities. Oh, he wanted to charge at... 
Okay, this is the first time I'm, I actually uh, see enemies that, that actually try to charge my spellcasters and ranged combatants. It's actually nice. A lot of them. That's a big boy. If it's a big boy, we're gonna make him uh Yeah, that was useful. I think we should also attack the prophet first. Not care about attacks in opportunity, just attack this dude so he doesn't kill Tanya. And now this guy's dead. Oh, you know what sneak attacks? Does Barbarian give you something that makes you unable to be sneak attacked? Let's see, he was level 8 Barbarian. Let's take a look here. Animal Fury, Damage Reduction, Danger Sense, Beast Totem. Yeah. This defense denies another rogue the ability to sneak attack the character by flanking her. Unless the attacker has at least four more rogue levels than the target does. Which doesn't do nothing because she only has one level of rogue. Which is fine. Now I'm only gonna get let I'm only gonna give Octavia two more wizard levels. So she's wizard level eleven. And I think then I'm gonna go with uh or should I? If someone has that uncanny dodge or whatever, she's n she's never gonna let uh, be able to sneak attack them anyway. Okay, does anyone? No, everyone already has two points of natural armor, so. It's fine. In due time. I just don't know how useful it is going to be to actually have better spells. I mean, it's obviously going to be really useful, but... Ah, eh, we'll see. It's fine. Biggest downside is, I don't know if she's going to be able to, uh, like, do two cantrips. Because a cantrip, it is a uh, standard action. It would be really cool if she could attack with cantrips the same way as, uh, as with a weapon. So if she's got two attacks, she would be able to do two cantrips. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Because then it would be slightly overpowered, wouldn't it? This river. On one side, sure we can rest. Uh, we have everything fine. Drinking and fighting. Oh, Amiri, don't you understand how empty and ridiculous all this is? It's not ridiculous. Your head is empty. And your face is ridiculous. <laughs> In fact, you're ridiculous all around. A good fight and some booze. What else do you need to be happy? Well. That's the thing, Harim doesn't doesn't want to be happy. He wants to be depressed all the time. Because reasons.
It's a more cane, yeah. Okay. Now, let me actually take a quick look at myself here. Uh, next level, we are going to increase our divine weapon bonds, and we are going to become immune to instant death. Which is nice. We're also going to get a feat. We already have out flank and a shield wall. I think we can still get the uh, precise strike, which would increase our damage a little bit. And Hadam is going to have to wait with his levels until I can get him a charisma increasing. Uh... Oh, I saw him T-posing there. I saw it. I would really like to improve his charisma, but we haven't seen any item that increases it besides this full plate here. And that's not enough. We need him to have 13. Save yourselves! It's them again! Them who? Nightmare skeleton soldiers. Don't let them get to the women and children. You should have run! Oh, I'm not even getting any experience for these things. You have Octavia spamming cantrips till you tell her to cast something else, but it works because she's an arcane trickster and gets ridiculous sneak attacks and cantrips as a sneak attack. Yeah, it probably would have would have been useful to actually have a uh, just have like the minimum needed levels of I think a wizard level two with the feet. That gives a 1d6 of sneak attack, and then 17 levels of Arcane Trickster. Actually, I should check what Arcane Trickster even gets her, but when we level up, because we can't check it. I wish we could just check it outside of a level up, where we can get some. Okay, whatever. As soon as you approach the camp. A bright-eyed girl in a long skirt runs up to Amiri and gives a big hug. Amiri, you're really alive, oh. She sobs and wipes her tears. Everyone said you were killed by the giants, but I always believed you survived, and no one ever found your body. Amiri, I missed you so much. There now, stop crying. I'm alive, alive, and well. You know nothing can beat me. Here, meet each other. Nilak, this is Baron Gregory Goodman. He's something like a new chieftain for me now. Gregory Goodman, this is Nilak. She, uh, she's the only decent person in my whole lousy tribe. Former lousy tribe. Don't say that. Yes, the elders were mean to you, but you shouldn't bl blame the whole tribe. Having wiped her eyes, Nilak presses her hands against her chest and bows before you. I am Nilak, songkeeper of the Six Bears. You must be the ruler of these lands. Forgive us for intruding in onto into your domain, but we, uh... Wait, really? Amira interrupts her. You are really songkeeper now? That's great. Since when? She gives her a sad smile. I always wanted to be one. While you were learning to fight, I learned legends. While you were training with a sword, I trained with a tambourine. Okay. You could kill for like a tree visual for what opens up on feats. You're hopelessly lost trying to figure out what leads to what powerful feats. Yeah. It would be... The... the uh, 
it would be nice if the game actually was a little bit better with uh, telling you, hey, by the way, like, these are the defeats that need the most of what you can get. If, if there was, like, maybe some kind of inbuilt planning tool. Because that would be really fun. And the list that you have available, it's nice that you can actually just click show me unavailable feats when you level up. That's that's convenient, but it it could be it could be better. But yeah, she was training with the tambourine. But I was initiated during your funeral feast, Amiri, when we were saying goodbye to you and your party. As I sang at the funeral pyre, my heart broke in pain. Desna whispered to me and told me how I could turn this pain into power. The Great Dreamer. Even the rocks and stones cried over the fallen when they heard my song that night. So you're bored? Great, me too! We should share some songs when we have time. You can tell us what they sing in your tribe and I'll tell you all about Amiri's feasts. Feats. I'd like that. Nice to meet you, Nila. May both our tribes live in peace. We are... Uh... Oh, something happened. Chieftain Akala? Akaya. An old, grey-haired barbarian with a tattooed face and a rapsack. Nilak! Who are you chatting with? Who are you? Wait. He looks closer at Amiri's face and suddenly starts to yell, pointing his crooked finger at her. You! Paraya! Rick! After all you did, you still have the nerve to come and show your ugly face here. Hey, she's not ugly. Nice thing would to have a preloaded template you create, so you don't have to go and redo the, your build level by level. Wait, the game has that, actually. The game has that. But I don't know how you can make a build, like, pre-made it. Pre -make it. Chieftain Akaya. This, bar this is Baron Gregory Goodman. We're in his lands now. Please, soften your heart. Maybe he can help us. Mm -hmm, a Baron. That's something like a Chieftain, right? You don't look like one. Well, whatever. I'm Akaya, Chieftain of the Six Bears Drive. And I need you to give me this dirty scumbag. He points his finger at Emiri. No, she's my friend. Watch your tongue, Chief. You're a guest in these lands, uninvited and not particularly welcome. Quiet, woman! The chiefs are talking. You think you can talk back to a warrior just because you learned to put an armor? Uh... You should choose your words carefully, barbarian. No, wait, this this is insulting Amiri a little bit. You know he has preloaded for those particular companions, but not sure about something you build. I if I remember right, I I think when I was creating my character, there was an option to uh, follow to follow the pre-made build. And that makes you uh That makes you uh, ma enables immediately automatically enables auto leveling. But it would be nice to have like even from the menu, click an option, build a character, make a character build or, or something like that, and then you could automatically just have it followed with your character and not care about leveling up. Because it takes a long time to actually figure out what you're doing. Like me, if if I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Okay, Amiri is no longer one of your tribe. She's with me now, so if you need something from her, you're gonna have to speak to me first. Actually, no. Now, let's just threaten violence. I'm I'm gonna break your legs if you insult Amiri or Valerie. 
You threaten six bears, you foolish pup. Don't waste your breath. Thanks to her, we've witnessed horrors you can't imagine. Just let me tell you what she's done to us. From the dawn of time, our tribe lived by the old ways. Everyone had a place, a job to do. Men crafted and went hunting. Women bore children and kept the huts clean. Ah, the way these are the ways set by our ancestors, and we do not change it. But then this upstart girl wants to match herself against men. She passed the warrior's initiation. She went hunting. But there's truth in the saying, nothing good comes from a woman with a sword. Neighbor tribes laughed at us. Look, there's a second chieftain in the tribe. Soft chieftain. Girl chieftain. Must be the end of the six bears. And they were right. She brought disaster upon her whole tribe. Oh, screw you, chieftain Akaya. And screw those guys. They're making fun because they got beat by her. Once, a gang of giants came to our lands. They scared our prey, attacked our huntsmen. So we decided to deal with them. We sent a group, and she went along. For a very long time, we waited for this group to return. Then we went searching for them even longer. But all we found were their dead bodies. Giants killed them all, everyone except for her. And then things got even worse. Have you seen those monsters? An evil spirit sent them, the ghosts of a giant. He's the one who chased us from our lands. He chased us through all of Numeria. Even now, he's somewhere nearby. Maybe he's just over that hill. He chases us, kills our people, and always says the same. Bring the thief to me, find Amiri. Oh. It's probably this this blade. The, the giant probably wants this weapon that she stole from him. The chieftain turns to Amiri, his face red with anger. He shouts, slobbering in her face. Now you understand. That's what your dreams have cost us. You brought a curse upon our tribe, Pariah. Now hand me your weapons and give yourself the woman's hut. That is your place. It always was and always will be. We'll, we'll feed you to the ghost and maybe then he'll leave us alone. And at least you'll atone for a tiny part of your guilt. Screw you, Akaya. Amiri headbutts the chieftain's face, breaking his nose with a sickly crunch. Paying no heed to Nilak's squeal, growling in and growling in anger, she leaps upon him, punching the old man's face. The chieftain spits blood and struggles to speak, and Amiri grabs her sword. You realize that a murder will quickly follow. Now, sorry Amiri, but we, we can't let you just murder a guy. Amiri raises her sword, Akaya shuts his eyes, but the final blow never comes. Amiri sieves her sword, pushes the chieftain onto the ground and spits on him. Get lost of, uh, get lost of my sight, you scumbag. Next time I see you, I won't stop at words. Nilak helps the defeated chieftain stand up and takes him into the nearest hut. The rest of the Bavarians hurry away, hiding themselves from Amiri's anger. They are afraid! Panting heavily, and swaying like a drunk, Amiri approaches you and puts her bloody hand on your shoulder. The old goat said, some evil spirit must be somewhere nearby. Let's go. We find him and we kill him. And then we make them all go back where they where are they from. I don't owe them. I don't owe to them. Nothing. And never. I don't want to see them ever again. Let's give them what they deserve. Murder. So I guess they're somewhere here. You can't stop me. I shoot. Valerie, deal with this dude. Adam, you know what? You can probably do this. I can do the same thing. Forty damage.
for 33. That's a lot of damage. And he only has to roll a 10 to hit. Well, he's not that difficult to, to touch. At least we got that going for us. We're missing. Why? He does have a Tori armor class. Okay. 60 damage. Oh wow, that's amazing. Swift boots, boots. Swift foot boots. So either me or Harem. I think I'm gonna wear these shoes. Okay, we killed the dude, would now. Follow if you dare. Any life was so. That's it. We're done with your evil spirit. We cut him into pieces and cast him to the wind. You you didn't even try to speak with him? Amir, you've already fought and killed him many times. It's no use. He always comes back. Oh Amiri, why do you always slash first and think later? Because she's pissed. So what was I supposed to do? Lay on the ground for him? Let him eat me? Exactly, Amir is right. There was no time to talk. Desna, why are you punishing me? Okay, Amir is predictable. But what about you, Chieftain? You must realize every deal starts with negotiation. At least you could have tried. She shakes her head in disappointment. Amiri, I hoped so much that after we found you, everything would be better. What should we do now? You don't like something? Come on, speak up. I can hear. She bellows with an unexpected anger. He like matches her anger. I'll tell you what I don't like. You left me. Thanks to you, I realized that a woman can do something bigger than scraping hides and cooking stew. I hoped you would become chief, and I'd be your advisor, and together we'd change the ways of the tribe. But instead, you just disappeared. Without even saying goodbye, I had nothing left but to become Akaya's advisor, who led this tribe through the horn of... Who led this tribe to the Hall of Numeria? Who do you think? Who negotiated with the other tribes? And who lived in the women's hut all this time, serving dinner to the chieftain? And now we found you. You. You ruin everything. Now the chieftain's angry. He's bound to do stupid things, and I won't be able to talk him out of it. Our tribesmen will die, Amiri, and all because of your itchy fists. Actually, we should just skip Silent here. Congratulations, Amiri. Now, you're just like a real man from the Six Bears. You only think about yourself. You use your fists, whether you need to or not, and then you leave it to the woman to sort out your mess. So that's how you talk now, huh? You want me to tell you why I smashed this old mushroom's face? And why I've played? I'll tell you. Listen now, you wanted it. The war party I went with? You think we went to fight giants? I told that too. I was so happy. I was a fool. We did not go there to kill giants, Nilak. We went there to kill me. They thought giants would be eat me up, and they wouldn't have to get their hands dirty. But I came back, alive, and with this sword. I thought no one would dare to say that Amiri wasn't a real fighter, but they just laughed into my face and said that if the giants didn't kill me, the frost would. Then, they left me alone in the wilderness, without food or tent. And when I understood why, when I saw what this hunt was for, it was then, for the first time in my life, I felt real rage. Yes, Nilak, you don't turn away now. Look in my eyes, I killed them all, with this sword. I'm not a thief, Nilak, I'm much worse, I'm a kinslayer. And you know what? I don't care, they deserved it. A whole damn tribe can go to the dragon's moor. And me too? She is savage, yeah. But uh, honestly, I'm not surprised that she's so savage. Because she have every she has every reason to be pissed. What? Do I deserve to die? Should I go to Dragon's Moor too? No, you 
This wasn't what I meant. You're not like them. She said too much. Amiri, you said too much. I'm part of a strike, Amiri. If you don't want to help me save it, you'd better leave. I'll manage without you. I'll ask the Tiger Lords for help. Amiri spits on the ground and grabs your hand in her iron grip and drags you away without saying another word. Oh no. Oh no, hand-holding is happening. No. I mean, yes. 